केमिकल रिएक्शंस एंड इक्वेशंस बैलेंसिंग अ केमिकल इक्वेशन अ केमिकल इक्वेशन इज बैलेंस्ड स्टेप बाय स्टेप अ ट्रायल एंड एरर मेथड इज यूज्ड फॉर दिस पर्पस द बैलेंसिंग प्रोसेस इज डिवाइडेड इनटू फोर स्टेप्स let us learn with the help of an example sodium hydroxide plus sulfuric acid produces sodium sulfate plus water step 1 write the chemical equation from the given word equation naoh plus h2so4 gives na2so4 plus h2o equation 1 step 2 check whether the equation is balanced or not by comparing the number of atoms of the various element present on both sides of the equation It is seen that the number of atoms of all the elements on the two sides are not the same. It means that the equation is not balanced. Step 3 It is convenient to start balancing an equation from the compound which contains the maximum number of atoms. Moreover, it is convenient to first consider that element in this compound which is unequal. In this equation there are two components Na2SO4 and H2SO4. any one of them can be selected select the compound na2so4 further select sodium for balancing as the number of atoms of sodium in this compound is unequal on the two sides a factor of 2 will have to be applied to naoh the resulting equation is 2 naoh plus h2so4 gives na2so4 plus h2o equation 2 Now check whether the equation is balanced or not. We observe that the equation is still not balanced as number of hydrogen and oxygen on both the sides is not equal. So applying a factor of 2 to the equation we get 2 NaOH plus H2SO4 gives Na2SO4 plus 2H2O equation 3. Now if we see equation 3 we find that the equation is balanced on both the sides step 4 write down the final balanced equation again 2 naoh plus h2so4 gives na2so4 plus 2h2o in this way a balanced equation is obtained from an unbalanced equation by applying proper factors to appropriate reactant or product so as to balance the number of each element in steps Let us take a very basic chemical reaction and convert it into a balanced chemical equation. Step one: Write the chemical reaction in the form of chemical equation. H two plus O two gives us H two O. Step two: Compare the number of atoms of each of the elements on left side and right side of the equation. So we observe that the number of atoms of oxygen is not equal on both the sides. step 3 in order to balance oxygen compound we apply a factor of 2 to the product so h2 plus o2 gives 2 h2o now oxygen compound is balanced but hydrogen compound is unequal on both the sides so apply a factor of 2 to h2 compound we get 2 h2 plus o2 gives 2 h2o step 4 write the final balanced equation so 2h2 plus o2 gives 2h2o this is the final balanced equation thank you for watching the academic squad